everyone it's Henry so in this game I'm gonna show you how to carry a top laner that doesn't want to win so top is one and seven right now there's a really really fed Camille and so the enemy are like mostly melee so I went Bork and Bork's really good against melee comps like this where you can just kite them around and just take the HP uh, because of the Bork passive so this game is going to be strictly on how to carry a game like this uh, the laning phase obviously I could add in uh, if people actually want to see it, but I think what's important is how to carry when you're ahead and your teammates are not. Like right here, this Camille is a big problem. And you'll probably see this a lot in Zoro Queue where maybe your team is doing well, but there's always one Inter. So I'm going to tell you exactly how you can win these games. So obviously, uh, Bork into Last Whisper is like the ideal uh, combo right here. They're going to build Mortal Reminder, not LDR, because they do have quite a bit of healing on their team. Like the MF Bloodthirster itself usually warrants a blue cut item already. So I really want to be versus the Camille to be fair, but uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna go match the Camille. I don't want my Lux to match. Yes, I think the Camille can just die with Lux easily. But uh, she can't really dive me, and as long as I don't want to die, I shouldn't be able to die to her. So the only thing I can show you right here is the fact that we can just freeze this wave, like no one is here right now. I'm just going to blue trinket this just in case. You can make sure the enemy lose a lot from not being top lane. Like, there's no objective on the map right now. They're like, where's the dragon and, you know, the baron, right? So we can just make them lose a full wave right here. It's going to be a cannon wave. It's like 200 gold and EXP. So right now, when we went bottom with Pearl, there's nothing we can really do, like... Whoever matches that just has to match that, but it's most likely gone anyways. Like, as long as we protect the tier 2 turret, it's fine. So we can just hold the wave right here. We could fight for this dragon. Uh, maybe maybe my teammates are going to fight for the dragon, so I'm just going to shove this wave out now. And rotate. And so Talon is dead, Lux is dead, both mids are dead. In a team fight setting, maybe we can win. We can just kite out the Camille with a Rek'Sai knockup. So, I don't know how the MF is allowed to hit our turret right here. Exile is dead, so there's no drag fight. Only thing I can do right now is just to defend the mid tower, don't let them get this. And we want to carry games like this, we always have to be where the gold is. We have to get as much gold as possible, so I'm going to rotate top here, farm two lanes. Hopefully I can get this top turret. Um, if no one TPs, I should be able to get it. The mid tier one is just dead, there's no point in trying to defend that, it's like too low and the enemy killed our teammates, so we're not going to try and defend that alone. Very nice, we got quite a bit of gold from that, as you can see from when we walked down to all the way over here. We made sure to get at least something for whatever they did on the opposite side of the map, so we just have to keep that tempo up, hopefully we can carry the game. Um, obviously, our teammates aren't doing the best, so it's okay, but... We can still try to carry team fights when we hit three to four items. Uh, at Shield Bowl, I'll be tanky enough that I won't get one shot. And then at IE, I'll really ramp up my damage. So I'm probably gonna get this rep buff and just sit in the bush and try to see if they keep pushing. I'm gonna pink this though. Double control ward on that. Let's see if Talon keeps pushing or not. The enemy team could try to start Baron because they're really fed and they have a lot of. Uh, poke from the Shivana, so like if we try to just stand with them and contest, like it's really hard. Even though we do have Santa heals, the Shivana burst is like kind of crazy. So the top turret is dead. He just ran out. I thought he would go the other way. That's my bad, I guess. But almost killed the Talon. As long as my teammates don't die here, it's really big. I can try to get tier two turrets because Talon has no R now. He should be dead if he gets close to me, like I can just dash on him. Any team might, might be recalling right now. I'll probably just back off now. Camille is for sure recalling. Oh, do I want to be bot lane? I think... I, I can't one one the Camille yet, like I'm still not strong enough. She has a 1k gold bounty though, if I do end up killing her, it's really big. Like I can almost guarantee the win if I get the 1k bounty. Unfortunately, I don't kill the town right there. I, I should have, I think. Uh, but it was really hard predicting which way he was going. 
But as our plan is just to stay alive and get as much gold as possible, it's okay, we don't get that. We just have to keep being aware of the map and look at where we can find resources. So the next move right now, this wave into these Krogs. Teammate is dead. It might be Baron, I think. Actually, if Lux dies here too. They're just dead. Mew is really low though, so there might be an opportunity. Although I will say I don't have ultimate. Okay. I'm gonna defend my uh Xi though. Oh my okay, nice. Just gonna dash onto this minion. Okay, nice. Very, very big. Our Kled is also pushing the bottom tier 2 turret, so it's like actually huge. We just got so much from that. Alright, nice. So, uh, can I? No, nah, I don't want to hit the mid turrets. I'm just gonna see if there's anything to take in the jungle, and if not, then it is what it is. Okay, nice. There's something here. Is there a gromp? Okay, so we're actually like getting so much gold from this. Okay, let's get this and recall and just buy uh, the power spike. Alright, uh, so we need 300 gold though, that's the thing. Might be down to make a play here, see who comes. Might be the Camille, might be... I think it can only be the Camille. Oh, okay, this guy should be dead. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we just broke her temple entirely. Very good, very good. Alright, so she's not gonna spawn for this dragon. I actually forgot if she had TP or not, I couldn't tell, but I have shield bow, so this drag we should definitely fight. I have to make sure to use my ult correctly though, I don't have flash, so it's gonna be really hard getting onto the enemy if I'm like playing front to back. So either I come in from an angle or I just uh I mean yeah, I can only come in from an angle. Otherwise, if the fight is not worth taking, like, we shouldn't lose the game off this fight. We should play uh, for the dragon, because it's our sole point. But we shouldn't fully commit to the point where, like, we lose Baron if we, uh, you know, we die. Like, I'm gonna play, like, half and half here. Like, I'll half commit. Like, if the fight looks bad, I'm just gonna leave. I don't wanna die. I wanna make sure that I can keep generating gold. I'm gonna drop a uh, pink bread here. Hopefully get this dragon, let's see if they try to fight this or just a steal. Okay, nice. That's pretty big. Now we just have to reset and get into position for Baron. Like, we're not doing Baron, but we have to protect it, right? We have to make sure the enemy can't just start Baron on spawn. Again, I don't want to waste gold, but I feel like in games like this I have to buy control wards, so I know what's the best decision for me. My teammates are engaging here, which is kind of bad. They could easily get uh, aced right here. Okay, but we burned the Leona flash, so it's fine. Camille's going for this. I'm going to protect this turret. I think I'm the only one who can protect it. And uh, Kled should just go somewhere else. Although, actually, I don't know if I can protect it. It's just dead. It's... Unless they're not going for it. Okay. Just didn't go for it. Mm, I think at this point, it's like pretty safe for me to just push. Like, I can probably just split push now, draw some pressure, but my teammates aren't really in position to respond if, like, they do end up going for me, so I'm probably just gonna push this wave and recall. Oh, okay, there's two of them. Let's see if I can try to outplay this. I didn't think I need the TP, actually. But, like, I actually wanted to bait them into me, but it's fine, I guess. I'm just gonna kite this out. I don't have my W. I have Bork, so I can just slowly play out the fight. Oh my god. Dude. I mean... Uh, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna sell the pink board then, and just buy a quick cloak. I think that was fine if my Clyde wasn't, like, already in there, like, in that deep. If he was peeling for me, if he, like, didn't get hit by the Leona ult, we could just easily just walked out and not died, but now Talon has 1k gold. 
So it's like kind of weird. Why do I have one Giggle Downy? Oh, it's, I mean, I guess it's because I farmed for so long without dying. So, uh, kind of a bad play by me, I guess. I should, I should have known. I should have kept walking away. I don't know why I walked into the Leona and uh, into an Emma Fault as well. Uh, a bit unfortunate. I almost outplayed it, but it is what it is. Okay, so I think Fled can probably match to Camille now. Like he's probably not that weak anymore looking at his items. So I'm going to go back top. They are engaging onto the next side though. Oh wow, I want to be, I want to be uh, here. The talent goes for this. He can hop walls, and he saw me with the uh, strong orb, so it is what it is. As long as we make sure they don't take these tier 2 turrets for free, it's like perfectly fine, because tier 2 turrets are a lot of gold. And I do want to take one for myself, but it's like not safe for me. Like It's not safe for me to do this. Hopefully Leona dies here. If Leona dies here, that's a ban right there. Not perfect. We have no TP. We just saw her use a mid lane, so she doesn't have any more. We just do this Baron. And then we probably play for Soul. It's very important that we play for Soul here. Uh, although I do not want to flip Elder. Like, if we got Soul, we should end ASAP, but Mtech Soul is actually really good for Nila. Especially since I have Last Stand as well. Okay, hopefully we smite this. Um, that was really weird, but. Hmm. This looks like a boss fight, unless we kite this out into my next W. If we can survive 10 seconds, or even 7 seconds, it'd be great. Siobhan has no, uh... I'm just gonna run, though. She's actually trying to fight me. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, Dragon 40 at time to recall, but I do want, like, I actually do want my IE. We do have Baron, so my recall is not that slow. Uh, I can... Uh, it's hard to say, really, but they are all dead, so theoretically speaking, we should get this Dragon and I still could get this Tower. I just want to make sure I'm not getting flanked, although I could outplay the two coming for me, like, there's no way these two champions kill me. Okay, nice, they're not even trying to go for me. Yeah, I should just recall instantly and run to Dragon though. Okay, nice. Um, buy a pot. Because I'm really far from my next item, but I do want to end ASAP, so I'm gonna go for it. Alright, if we get so really big, hopefully we can get this. Uh, like, unless we miss Mites, but Shivana doesn't have Dragon form, I think, so it would be hard to miss this Dragon. Perfect. I don't have flash anymore, which is the only bad thing, but I can play with my Kled here. If my Kled owes someone, I just follow him in, and it's like kind of the same thing. It's like a little bit weird, but uh, I think we can 3v5, just me, Kled, and Santa. Like if we just one-shot the person that Kled is ulting. Right, so we're charging in now. We don't have Lux though, she doesn't have TP. She has to run like a very long way, so I'd rather have her just clear mid wave instead. We don't really need her for this push. We're, in, we're probably just fine. We got it. Right? Okay, nice. I'm back to full health. That's the Chemtech so for Nila. Perfect. Uh, this should be the end of the game. Shivana has ult, but. I think our Baron Empowered minions should be able to defend. And I can just like chase her out as well. Perfect. Now we can hit the tower. And now that's how you do it. When in games like this, you just always go for the gold and then just do your job after you get items. And that's how you carry the game.